welcome to um, one of the videos of Anodos Pilates at home. Um, today we're going to focus on some kind of back pain based exercises, very much beginner PPI level. We're going to start on our back there. So just find your comfortable position. And what I'd like us to start with is just very gentle side to side. So bringing your legs to one side as you breathe out, breathing in, bringing them back and repeating onto the other side. You shouldn't feel any major pain when doing those exercises, so to discomfort no more. So if you need to go a little bit less further, that's absolutely fine. And just one more on each side there, breathing out, coming down, in, coming back, out, coming down, and in, coming back. Lovely. All right, in this position then, we're going to start with some gentle shoulder bridge. So we're going to tuck our tailbone in. Really engaging our bottom muscles, coming up nice and slowly, vertebrae for vertebrae, as high up to the wall as possible, to the ceiling there, and then as slowly coming back down, nice and controlled. Breathe in, prepare, breathe out, coming up, breathing in to hold, and out, coming back down. So for your bridge, what you need to watch is that you don't roll out to either side around kind of your hips. So what you need to think for is a harness, which is pulling you up to the ceiling, keeping it at the same level so that you don't drop. And then slowly back down. Breathe in, prepare. Breathe out, coming up. Breathe in, hold. And breathe out, back down. That's lovely. If you're happy at that level, just keep going there. Otherwise, what you can do is as you are up for your end to hold, you can come up, so lifting your heels up onto your toes, bringing the heels back down before you come down. This will challenge your pelvic control more that you will want to drop, so do watch out that you're still very much controlling at your pelvis. Breathing in, prepare. Breathing out, coming up. Breathing in, hold or lifting the heels up and breathing out, back down we go with everything. And just making it five more there, breathe in, prepare, breathe out, coming up, rolling all the way up, vertebrae per vertebrae, in, hold, or lifting heels up and out, back down you come. Vertebrae per vertebrae once again. And again. Really engaging the bottom again before you come back down. Lovely, last one. back down you come. Lovely. We are going to go on to hip twist level one. So what I would like you to picture is a glass on the top knee that is not going to move with some liquid which you do not want to pour. So for instance there I'm going to start my right leg coming down so the glass is on my left leg and I'm only going to lower the right leg down to the side as low down as I can control before I come back up. So what I am watching for is no wobble in the stabilizing leg, the leg that is not moving. And I'm also watching that I am not lowering so low down that I am dropping around the hip. So you can place your hands around your hip and your pelvis there. Also do make sure that your back is nice and flat. So there should just be space for two fingers and imaginary little blueberry, no more. So make sure you don't over curve as well. And from there, neck nice and relaxed. Breathing out, bringing the leg down and in, coming back. I'm going to stay with the same leg to start with. 
do make sure that your whole body is nice and relaxed so what I meant with neck nice and long is imagining an apple between your chin and your chest that you remain long for any of those exercises feel free to have a little pillow if that makes you feel more comfortable I don't want your neck to be pulling back the way out coming down and in coming back up and switching sides there breathing out coming down in coming back up so this time my stabilizing leg is my right leg and I'm again imagining that glass onto it with the liquid I do not want to pour breathe out back down and breathe in back up you come last one out back down and in back up if you're happy at that level and that's challenging you then stay there please otherwise come up into what we call single tabletop position so note that I'm watching that my back is not curving all the way up as I do this so my back is still in that nice neutral position with that little space and I'm in that 90 degree angle there from there my stabilizing leg is again the same idea not moving and my right leg is coming down. Now you will feel more challenged and your hip will want to roll out to the side. So really controlling it there, only going as low down as you can control the movement. And breathing in to prepare, out coming down, in coming back up. And breathe out, down you come, and back up. one more and switching sides so the right leg becomes your stabilizing leg with that glass and your left leg is the one now rolling out to the side and back up breathe in prepare breathe out down your cup breathe in back up my neck is still nice and long my back is still nice and relaxed. Lovely, just one more. And back up. And back down, you come. Well done. We're now going to move on to scissors. So scissors level one, your arms are nice and relaxed. One leg comes up to that tabletop position, back down. Then the other one comes up and back down. Trying to really engage your trans abdominals, your really low muscles there. So you can pop your hands onto them if you want to try and find them and try and feel them. So they kind of at the bony bits and then lower down around an inch or two. Breathe in, prepare, breathe out, coming up. Breathe in, back down. Over leg, breathing out, coming up. Breathe in, back down. Try not to bring this leg too close knee to your chest, otherwise we are again not engaging those muscles quite as much. So keeping it at that tabletop position before we come back down and alternate to the other side. If you're happy once again at that level, then stay at that level. Otherwise, you can move on to level two, where essentially you're going a little bit faster. So as the leg comes back down, the other one will then come back up. So we are alternating a little bit faster. So your breathing will be a little bit faster. So same principle, out as one leg comes up, and in as it comes back down. My back is once again nice and flat. Make sure that it's not started curving up the way. My neck is still nice and relaxed. Shoulders nice and relaxed. And try to avoid that leg starting to push up to the ceiling too much. So you shouldn't see what I'm doing there with my toes pointing up to the ceiling. It's always tabletop 90 degree angle onto each side. Lovely, one more on each leg. 
well done and back down you come okay we're going to roll onto our side then so just in your time and the way that works for you and we're going to be nice and lengthened to start with so i'm very much all the way along onto my hip so to find my hip i will roll forward and back until I find that kind of bony bit and that's when I know that I'm on that hip. Arm is nice and long but if that's not comfortable then you can bend the arm instead with your pillow and just relax the head like so. From there we're going to go into a clamp so I'm going to bend my legs up about a 90 degree angle both knees together and aligned hips are nice and aligned together and feet will remain touching each other. The top knee Think of kind of a string pulling the top knee up to the ceiling to come up the way and then relaxing that top knee onto the lower one. Breathing in to prepare, out to come up and to come back down. Do make sure that you are happy that you are on your hips. So if you're not, you can kind of roll forward and back again to find that hip position. You may feel like you want to bring that leg up, but you will roll back if you go too far. So think of that wall behind you, so that you just hover up to that control and back down. And you should feel it in the back pockets and the bottom muscles. Breathing in to prepare, out to come up, in to come back down. And when you come back down, try to just hover that top knee rather than fully lowering down before you come back up so that your muscles are working nice and hard. You should still have that space as well underneath around your hip, your waist. So if you do not, you can pull that top hip up to create that space a little. Breathe out, coming up. Breathe in, coming back down. Well done, just making it five more. And then relaxing it there. You're going to straighten your legs a little. Mind you, I am keeping my knees bent. And this time bringing your arms at the front, one on top of the other, to make sure you've got your pillow if you need it again. And what we're going to go on to is arm opening, which is a great mobility exercise for your whole spine. So we're going to open up that top arm, trying to lengthen as if that arm is getting pulled away from the body before we're bringing it up. And then I'm going to keep looking at that hand with my eyes so that my head follows as far back as I comfortable to go. I'm going to hold before I slowly come back. So do take your time, go at your own speed for this exercise. Breathing in to prepare, out to come up. In to hold, out to come back. And again, lengthen and up. And slowly back. And just one more there, lengthen and up. Keeping my hips where they are. And coming back. Well done. Going to switch sides. So what I'm doing is just going onto the opposite side of the mat. You can do the same so that you can still see the video. And then same again, lengthening my body, finding my hips. And when I'm happy, bending my legs up, knees towards my chest about 90 degrees, keeping my feet together, creating that little space underneath the waist by pushing my top hip up, arm at the front, and do make sure that your arm is not kind of fully flat so there I'm kind of sitting on a cloud so I'm not fixing with my upper body. 
and then tuck the knee coming up and back down. Breathe in to prepare, out to come up, in to come back down, hovering that top knee to the lower one before I come up again. Making sure that I am not rolling back, so my imaginary wall is again there, keeping me from rolling back. Small movement felt in the back pocket muscle. Breathe in, prepare. Breathe out, coming up. Breathe in, hold. Breathe out, back down. Well done. And just five more there. Good stuff. And when you've done your five, open up your legs a little, keeping them bent slightly. Arms at the front, one on top of the other once again for arm opening on that side. Lengthening that top arm. Keeping looking at that hand all the way back. Keeping the hips nice and relaxed. And slowly back we come. Breathing in to prepare. Out to come up. to hold and out to come back. Next one is going to be our last one. Lengthening through that whole body, nice stretch throughout before we come back. Lovely, well done. I'm going to let you come onto all fours the way that works for you there. And in that position, trying to have hands, elbows and shoulders all aligned, putting a little bit of weight onto it. And we're going to go through a couple of cats and camels. So you might know this exercise as cat and dog. It's commonly called in yoga as well. Where we curve through both ways. So rolling, making a nice big ball, looking down. And then looking up the way, curving the whole spine. Don't push through any discomfort as well for that exercise. So if it's too sore going through both ends, then make that movement a little bit slower and smaller. Breathe out one way. And breathe in the other way. Just make it one more there. And then dropping down onto what we call the child pose or the shell stretch. And just dropping down onto your knees, bringing those arms forward. Nice, relaxed breathing. And to finish, we're going to walk our hands towards the right side. Again, to stretch that whole spine. So you might feel the stretch coming from the shoulder all the way down. That's absolutely fine. Keeping that breathing going. And then slowly walking your hands back onto the middle. And repeating the same movement there. Walking the hands towards the left hand side. slowly coming back and that is us well done everyone i hope that you enjoyed your back pilates class today